Hey guys, welcome to my monthly update for the Portuguese real estate market. Today we'll be talking about property news and how it's affecting the real estate market here in Portugal. Uh, but first a quick introduction for anyone who don't know me yet. My name is Jared, I'm a real estate advisor for Nest Seekers. We are an American based firm with offices all over the world but also here in Portugal. I'm based in the greater Lisbon area, I've been living in Cascais for many years with my wife and three kids. So if you're interested in the Portuguese real estate market, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any important news. So let's dive into some property news. Today, let's have a look at the rental market. This is a new article from Idealista addressing a new proposal that just got approved by the parliament. From now on, landlords can only be able to demand two months rents in advance and one security deposit from a new tenant and that cannot be exceeded. This decision is made in an effort to try to combat the abuse of guarantees that are currently requested by landlords from tenants when signing new leases. The amount required in advanced rents and collateral makes it almost impossible for many people to be able to rent the property and by limiting the amounts that be requested by the landlords will help tenants secure their leases. If you're not in this rental market, you might not be aware. However, for many years, landlords have been able to ask for several months up front in payment and some even years of rental payments, which now will obviously be illegal. For tenants in the rental market, obviously this is great news. An interesting article in the Portugal news addressing the rising interest rates, which also affects not only the housing sales, but also the rental market. The raising of the interest rates that came to effect earlier this year came to battle the inflation and to stabilize surging prices. How these rates will affect the market is pretty straightforward. The cost of borrowing will increase as the mortgage loans become tighter. And because of this, the number of qualified individuals for home mortgage will decrease. As a result of home purchases becoming less affordable, there will be a much bigger pool of rentals on the market. Moreover, as demand for mortgage loans decreases, it's usually expected that the housing price will follow. However, the unbalance of supply and demand caused by supply chain issues and the economic climate in the EU, housing prices are not expected to decrease significantly at this time. Instead, we expect rents to keep increasing as there are more renters on the market while supply is still very low, which will keep pushing prices even more for rental. So, what does this mean? The increase in rent prices coming from higher interest rates is expected to result in higher yields for investment portfolios, especially on the high-end rental properties. This is therefore a good signal for investors to explore funds which contain the prime real estate properties. This is especially true for prime areas such as Lisbon where rental supply cannot keep up with demand. So this is a good time for anyone looking to invest in properties for the purpose of leasing out and receiving a very strong yield. So. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and like. And yeah, see you guys next time.